Good morning. Welcome to Prayers That Light Our Path this morning. You know, you listen to the news, you listen to all, you read all the stories on MSN, and you, you look at all the things that are going on in our world, all the things that are scary, that scare us, that make us wonder about our future sometimes as a nation, worry about our families, what's going to happen. We see our world full of hatred, full of people rioting for what they consider to be social injustice, destroying other people's things for the name of social in injustice. We have this enemy of COVID that is limiting where we can go, what we can do, how we can do it. There are a lot of enemies in our world facing us today. There are economic uh, problems. There are just all kinds of things. But you know, as I as I thought about these things, and and I've worried about these things, and I've worried about people who are hurting because of these things, people who've lost their jobs, people who don't know where their next meal is coming from. It's been long enough now that people are really beginning to be desperate. Sometimes we do not pay attention to those who have the knowledge of what we should be doing and limiting where we go and protecting ourselves from the germs of this enemy. I'm reminded of a verse in Psalms 138.7. And that verse says, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. I have, I have used this verse before. This verse, though, has such far-reaching meaning to the time that we're in, is that we're not walking in, this in these troubles alone. God is with us. God is going to protect us. He's going to reach his hand down, and he's going to hold my hand, and he's going to walk me through these troubled waters. I did a sermon a few weeks ago on Bridge Over Troubled Waters, and I'm telling you this morning, God is that bridge over those waters. We have to trust Him. We have to believe in Him. We have to follow His Word. We have to spread His Word to all those who do not know it. Folks, we need a revival of this country. It's that revival that's going to bring us through these hardships. We need to love one another. We need to thank God every day for the blessings that we do have despite the restrictions that are imposed upon us. God loves you. God wants the best for all of us. And He's going to provide it. We just have to have the faith. And that faith should be growing stronger every day through prayer and through belief. Folks, we're going to have to start our day out with the Bible open. We're going to have to do as John Wesley did. We're going to have to spend hours and hours in prayer, praying for our country, praying for revival, praying for God to come back into our community. Pray for our own salvation. Go with me this morning to the Lord in prayer. Father, we all seem to be walking in the midst of trouble. Suddenly we have enemies we've never known that were enemies before. People who prefer deception and violence rather than diplomacy. We don't understand all that they do and all that they say and it seems like they misunderstand us. We're a hurt nation. We're an angry nation, struggling to maintain our values while still dealing firmly with those who hate us. Guide our leaders during these difficult times. Keep our sons and daughters safe in your arms. Bring peace and security for all back into this hurting world so that we can learn the lessons of this conflict and we can learn to live together in harmony. God, we bring this humble plea to you this morning. Be with us, protect us, watch over us. 
bless our leaders. Bless us. Father, we love you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. Y'all always remember, God is with us. God is with us through thick and thin. He's never going to leave us. He's never going to forsake us. And his, not, his love will never grow less for us. But like our own parents, we must remain obedient. We must remain faithful. If we do that, we will transcend these times and we will come out better than we were before. Always remember God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.